But um, I don't know. What's going on, elites? Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. It's me, your boy, Classic Waddles here. Had to bring that old energy back for the start of this episode. So, in the last episode, we set up a sugarcane farm. The farm has been running a little bit, and I actually did a little bit more work to it, but it still needs to run. I'd like to be able to enchant more things. To enchant more things, we need two things. Well, we need an enchanting setup that's very, very important, and uh, we need more diamonds. Our diamond count is running really, really low, especially after placing that block right there. So, six diamonds right now, that's not very good. Now, done related to the enchanting setup thing, we need more cobblestone. I mean, right here, this is a lot. It, it's good, but at the same time, if I want to use cobblestone in pretty much every build, that's not going to cut it. Definitely not at all. So check this out. We have a lot of leather. Uh, leather, way more than set for an enchanting setup, but sugarcane, yikes. So we have a stack right there, and then inside of the farm that we built in the last episode, we have a little bit more, but definitely not enough more. 36 right here. We need a full stack of sugarcane inside of here, combined with the other stuff, to make a full enchanting setup. Hey, by the way, check the build. We got a painting over there. Now, I moved it. I feel like that hits the vibe perfectly. And then, no, wait for it, on this other wall right over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's window time. I put a window over there. That opens the build up like a million times more. The build felt really cramped in here at the end of the last episode. So, I put a window right in the middle of this wall. Just a simple one. It's nothing fancy like this window right here, but it totally fits. It does well there. And from the outside, I feel that it looks really, really good. You can't really see it, but it looks good. Trust me. So anyways, we need to let the sugarcane farm run, and we need to be able to get more diamonds. Also, maybe, big maybe, we need to be able to get, like, a spawner over here or something crazy like that. That would be huge. We have levels right now, but we'll run out of them eventually. So, I was looking around, and this hill, the hill that I was looking at in the intro, looks like it would be perfect for, like, some sort of mine entrance. I mean, imagine this. We have a mine entrance, like, right there, then, like, sort of like a boardwalk type thing. It wraps around and staircase up to the house. Yeah, that would be, like, perfect. Excuse me, drone. Get out of here. I think that that would be perfect and it would be really really accessible from pretty much anywhere in the jungle we could always add other entrances but right here for mine entrance number one i think that would be perfect so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a mine entrance here and then talk about mine cards the most tedious part of mining honestly is bringing everything back up to the surface so i figured well uh, what if we just actually cut that out like removed that part of the process entirely and then i realized that hey uh, you know that actually wouldn't be too hard to do so that is exactly what we're going to do with this mine entrance mining setup then i'll get to use it whenever i need to off camera on camera and hopefully in no time we'll have like a stack of diamonds or at least like 12 diamonds 12 diamonds would be really really good too but definitely more like a stack but 12 would also be okay so to start today's build off i think what we want to do is dig back into this hill a little bit right here something like this we'll go ahead and come back and make it fancier later up at the top of this thing my plan is to add a minecart unloader we'll be able to put items inside of a chest minecart down in the mines then send that chest minecart on its way it'll come up to the top unload everything and then go right back down to the mines for us that'll be perfect for whenever i'm branch mining or for whenever i'm just really doing anything down there at all maybe i'm collecting cobblestone maybe i'm looking for a slime chunk yeah literally anything like that it's definitely not the most exciting addition to the world but it's definitely a necessary one every good world definitely needs a good mining setup here's the plan we're gonna make a staircase a wide staircase going all the way down we'll finish this up with some staircase blocks i'm thinking probably spruce so i went ahead and planted a spruce tree oh it actually grew i planted a spruce tree out in the water over there this iron axe is gonna get some show time in a little bit but anyways we dig a really wide staircase three blocks wide going all the way down to y11 then, in the middle, we come back in and put a minecart line running up this thing. On either side, staircases. We'll put the minecart line in the middle, raised up a little bit, actually, so it's not slowed down by any of the wall blocks. Then, up at the top, we'll build a cool building and a simple minecart unloading area. If I could also have the staircase meet up at pretty much this spot, but at Y11, that would be perfect. I mean, imagine this. You're down in the mines, you want to get back up to the surface quickly. You have a staircase, or you have a bubble column. A bubble column would be way, way more quick, so hopefully we'll be able to stay under pretty much like this spot right here i did go ahead and write down the coordinates the right ones mm -hmm. uh so yeah i'm thinking that we'll go down maybe about halfway and then we'll make a big turning area we have to keep in mind that we're gonna put a minecart in here so we have to have lots and lots of room 
Now, this was a lot of digging, so I decided to turn this bit into a little bit of a, a time lapse while I dig the staircase. So, I, I wanted to say thank you guys for the continued support on the series. I'm having so much fun making it. Like, the amount of ideas that I have written down in, like, a notebook and in my phone and, yeah, the ideas are crazy. The inspiration is high for this. I'm thinking that soon, because it is technically the nether update, right? Uh, we move over into the nether and set up a sweet nether hub and then also a cool nether farm i think a nether farm would be really cool oh by the way i did hit a cave system while mining this out too we'll talk about it when we're back though but anyways what i'm trying to say here is seriously i love this world and i'm obsessed with it and i have so many cool different ideas and i honestly kind of can't decide what order to do them in sometimes so uh yeah <laughs> just really excited about this world Okay, well, welcome back, elites. I've made it almost all the way. Not all of the way, but, but most of it. I hit a couple interesting things. So you guys probably saw the cave. Well, uh, check this out. We have a ravine in here, too. I haven't gone in it, really. And then, uh, down here, we have what looks to be a mine shaft right under there. And uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's definitely a slime near here, too, which is really cool. Now, I think what I'm going to do is this. We're just going to jump down and not even worry about it and tower right back up because this staircase needs to go down to Y11. Currently, we're on 17, so a couple more blocks. But this slime is definitely a high priority. I need to figure out where this slime could be because the slime chunk right over here in the jungle, oh, oh, this is a good slime chunk. We found one before, but that was over at the starter base. And obviously, if I could make a slime farm over here, that would be like a million times better, which is really cool. Oh! <gasps> Oh no, you know what I just realized? Oh, it's not like an oh no, it's more of an oh yes, oh yes, mine shaft over here. That means we definitely, probably, unless we're really unlucky, which we probably won't be in this world. Oh, that means we probably have at least a cave spider spawner over here. Somewhere, probably, right? Usually, uh, nine out of 10 times. Oh, this day just got a whole lot better. That is really, really cool. I'm excited about this. We need to go in the mine shaft just a tiny bit. This is not the point of today's episode, but we need to look just a little bit. But here we are, a hey, with a creeper. Okay, okay, so there's a creeper. Uh, I was gonna say, here we are at Y11. How close are we? 868, 66, 1689. Oh, we are like right on. That is perfect. Okay, cool. So let's backtrack a little bit and make this a little bit safer because a creeper, yeah, that's definitely creepy. Definitely not good. We don't need that to happen again. Let's just go ahead and make a small staircase right here and also 100% get rid of this lava. The lava, yeah, that's, that's definitely terrifying. There we go. Okay, so cave spider spawner and the slime. I need to know where the slime is. Are you right here? You sound like you're over here maybe. Maybe it's back in the ravine. It couldn't be too far from here. Uh, definitely not too far. I'm not seeing any cave spider spawner signs quite yet, though. But it's okay. This is early still. We're early on. Lots of ores that I'll definitely need to come back for. Uh, but how about a cave spider spawner? Or at least the slime. Slime, reveal yourself. Are you in the ravine, maybe? Are you in this cave system? There's quite... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, okay. So, uh, where could it have spawned? It could have spawned in this chunk or this chunk or maybe that chunk over there, too. Okay, uh, how do I mark that? How am I going to remember that ever? You know what? This is how I'm going to remember this stuff. This disgusting stuff. I would never build with this. If I see this stuff, that means something weird is going on here for sure. Okay, uh, yeah, that'll do. Then we can just throw the rest of that on the ground. I don't really need it. Uh, yeah, I should definitely be able to remember that. Probably. Hopefully. Well, aren't you sneaky? Aren't you sneaky, Creeper? Nah, yeah, not today, not today, not today. So, it looks like this mineshaft continues on. This is probably a pretty sizable mineshaft, I'm guessing, right? I mean, yeah, it looks, oh, there's a spider over there. I don't know what kind of spider that is, but that's a spider, which is an improvement upon what I've been seeing so far. Okay, I like it. You know what? Let's go ahead and get over there and check it out really quick. Then it's back to the mine shaft uh, or the, the staircase digging for the day. Ah, uh, spiders though. Where are the spiders at? Show me the spiders, please. I hear you. Are you up higher? I think you're up higher. You know what? Staircase right here. You're probably like somewhere right here, right? Somewhere right here, right? Maybe? Oh, oh, that's disappointing. That's a giant disappointment. You can go away and you can go away too. You are a big disappointment. But don't fear, I hear more. Uh, and it's just you. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, this looks like it's gonna probably be at least 
a decently sizable mine shaft. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and ignore this for now. We'll come back later and explore it on camera, off camera, I don't know. But let's go ahead and get back over to the staircase and talk about that a little bit more. Also, uh, really quick, really, really quick. We're dead center in diamond area. Why eight? There is a gigantic probability the diamonds will be somewhere in this mine shaft. Okay, there are some diamonds. Let's mine the diamonds, then let's get out of here. How many diamonds? 13! We've just doubled or, or tripled what we had before. Okay, this is amazing. This is perfect. Okay, mine shaft, definitely, definitely be back to this thing later. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the poor villagers. I forgot that the villagers were up here and I needed to worry about nighttime and I accidentally took one away. I'm sorry, villagers. You're gonna be fine, you're gonna be good. You're trapped and you have a helmet on. I am so sorry, that is terrible. I am not a good person. Oh, what is that poor villager. I kidnapped him and then he just sat in the, oh, okay, I'm not gonna think about it. I don't care what anyone says, but granite is a beautiful block. We are using granite in today's build. We'll also be using a lot of spruce. Now, uh, today's episode is not only about a new mine shaft, but it's also all about mine carts. Normal rails were pretty stocked up on those, but powered rails, definitely going to need more of those things. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Nobody likes to go up and down blocks. That's always definitely annoying. So, first things first in here, we're 100% going to want to put staircases on these blocks. At the start, I dug the floor correctly. Then right there, I kind of messed up a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll start by just laying staircases down. And then once I get to this spot right here, I'll have to dig out a block and lay more staircases. That'll be pretty simple. Then, uh, item transport. Moving items up and down out of the mines is always really, really annoying. So, how are we going to get around that? Well, this is actually going to be pretty simple. You see, there's a really simple way to move items up and down out of a mine shaft, but for some reason, and I have no clue why, but for some reason, I always forget about this being an actual option. Minecarts, of course, obviously, we could use a minecart with a chest in it to move things back and forth. Now, if we weren't to put a hopper unloader here, we would have a minecart that jumps all the way up to this area, wherever I put the unloader, bounces off, drops like an item or two off, and then goes back down. That would take a long time. I mean, when mining, you get like a lot of things, right? Like lots and lots of cobblestone, tons of redstone too. That would definitely be a problem. So, uh, basically, we'll come back up here and set up a minecart unloader. That'll be pretty easy. We'll probably put it like over here, maybe? We'll just dig out a little bit more space and put it right there. But uh, for now, first, we need to run a rail line going all the way down this thing. Now, uh, powered rails and minecarts on inclines. Uh, it's kind of an interesting, surprisingly complex thing. You see, if I were to place just like a bunch of normal rails, I could actually push a minecart down this thing and it would make it all the way down. I mean, we do have a turn, but for the most part, it would be able to pick up enough momentum and move all the way down, no problem. But uh, moving back up, that wouldn't be so easy. We need to supply this minecart with enough power for it to actually be able to climb this steep incline. I mean, think about it. Uh, it's not that steep of an incline, but to a minecart, this is some pretty crazy big stuff. Our optimal rail placement here should be one rail, one powered rail, every four blocks if we give the minecart a really solid start. Again, going down isn't the problem, but going up, yep, that's where the problem is. So, basically, we should be able to do it like this, and if I've calculated everything correctly, if I remember my stuff here, which I think I do, it should work. It, it, it should probably work. We'll have to do a little bit of testing, but I believe one powered rail every four blocks should do the trick. We should be able to go from the bottom all the way up to the top. Then on the side, we'll have these staircases right here to be able to run up. Now, uh, if you're setting this up in your world, you can put it next to a wall, but minecarts actually have friction. If the thing were to be right next to a wall, then the wall could actually slow down the minecart a little bit, uh, which would be a problem. You might actually end up needing more powered rails if that were to happen. Uh, with the staircases in the middle, like a place like that, that shouldn't be a problem at all. I think it'll work just fine. Now, let's talk about the walls. Of course, I'm putting a lot of energy into the floor here. I'm gonna do staircases, granite. Yeah, it's gonna look really good. By the way, polished granite wherever there's a power source block. We'll put a redstone torch below it. It'll work perfectly. Uh, but anyways, uh, the walls, what am I gonna do with those? Well, of course, I need to decorate them. They need to look a little bit better than just normal stone. 
Uh, especially some of this terrifying stuff. It's got to go away. So, I'm thinking that on the walls, what we could do is probably stone and cobblestone. Like a randomized, like, mixture to really, really bring out that whole cave feel. Maybe, if I'm feeling fancy, even, like, a tiny bit of mossy cobblestone, too. Not too sure on that one. But, yeah, that's basically what I'm thinking. So, I need to get the staircase in. Then we need to come back and do a little bit of testing. But, of course, we can't test the thing until the staircase and the rail line is actually in. Well, ah, uh, that was painful. Uh, I am painful. Uh, painful. Ah, uh, that hurts. That definitely hurts. Sometimes I am just about the biggest derp in the world. I don't know what I was thinking. I was... Well, I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking I could shortcut all the way down to the bottom, like, really quick. By just jumping in this and following the water. And then the water went, but the water wasn't, like, really quick. And, <laughs> yeah, now I'm drowning again. Yeah, that's not good. But anyways, I did finish the whole staircase. It makes it all the way down here, which is good. I also set up a little bit of, a, like, a base room down here. We'll be back down here in a minute to talk about it. Let's actually go back up to the surface now with our quick thing that, that really pained me. And actually set up a minecart unloader. So... I've started setting up the area where we want to build it. We're going to build it right in this spot right here. I think that'll be perfect. Now, minecart unloaders are actually really simple to build. To build one, you'll need a repeater, you'll need a redstone torch, and you'll actually need a comparator as well. So, minecart unloader, they're actually really, really easy to build. We'll start with the double chest place just like that. Then we'll place a hopper right there going into the double chest. After that, we'll need a block of granite. Let's go ahead and use, I guess, this block of granite. That's the only god I have right now. Then we're going to need a powered rail right on top of that hopper. Now it's time for the circuit. So, this circuit is actually really, really simple. What we're gonna wanna do is start with a block right down here. We'll place a comparator going out of it. That comparator will go into this block right there. On the side of that block, we'll place a redstone torch. Right above it, we'll place a solid block. Then, over here, going out of that solid block, we'll pull a signal out with a repeater, just like that. Finally, we'll place a block right here. So, the powered rail is on currently. If an item goes inside of this powered rail, it's actually going to turn off because the comparator pulls the signal out of here and powers this block. This block is powered, which means the torch down there is depowered. This is depowered, no signal, boom, it's all off. As soon as the items are outside of the hopper though, everything will turn right back on. So, we can go ahead and put a rail right there, then we can drop a minecart with a chest on it right here, put something in the chest just to make sure it works, and then push it. It's gonna bounce off of that and go right back over here, it'll stop and unload everything into here, uh, perfect, and then it goes again. That is exactly what we want. Now, stop it for a minute, thank you. So check this out right here. Next up, I want to talk about this. If I place this powered rail down right here, it's actually powered. And that's because this middle powered rail is powered. If you have a powered rail in the center of somewhere, like this spot right here, and it's powered, it can actually send its power over a couple blocks, which is really, really useful. Now, is this going to work? Let's go ahead and drop this on it. It definitely will make it all the way down to the bottom. 100%. That's not a question at all. But will it make it back up to the top? Now, uh, at this cross area, I set up something that kind of looks like this. This cave is absolutely, or it was, absolutely flooded with zombies. So, I'd like to actually break into it really quick here and see if maybe, if maybe, we have a solution to recovering the levels that we lost. I mean, I really don't want to set up a zombie spawner farm. We kind of already did one. Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. <laughs> we do have a way to recover the levels, though. Okay, well... You know, the day was disappointing when I lost all of those levels, but then when I found that, my day got a lot better again. That's not bad, you know, I don't know if I want to really go in here right now. There could be creepers all around. Uh, we'll just light it up a little bit and check it out. Okay, a name tag, that's perfect. Gonna need that. I need to get another zombie back or zombie villager, which we could actually maybe use this thing to get one from. Okay, okay, it's not the worst thing in the world to have happened. That's not too bad. You know, I'm happy again. Okay, so for now, we'll cover that up. I had a suspicion that that was in there. That's why I'm not very surprised at all. But let's go down here and run our jest run. Is this going to work? So over here, I have a solid block and a powered rail sitting down below this thing. You'll see it in a minute. When I press the button, the rail gets powered and this thing will be sent off. Now to get the minecart up to full speed, I have three powered rails in a row right here. That'll bring it up to its maximum speed. Hopefully the minecart will be able to maintain its momentum all the way up to the surface so let's press that that's gonna go okay and it's gonna go and now we'll go up to the surface and see 
if it will make it up here. Now we're definitely gonna be a whole lot faster than minecart, but are you gonna make it up? Um. Okay, that's not a good sign. It probably got stuck in here. Okay, so it definitely made it up the first couple of you, but then, oh, right here is my problem. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five. That's like five, I think, rails in there, maybe. Let's go ahead and do that right there and check that out. That gap looked way too big. Maybe that was the problem. Let's check this out, we'll try it again. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. All right, so that's not that big of a deal. All we need to do is give the minecart a tiny bit more momentum. How do we do that? Well, simple. We can break back in here and place a couple more powered rails. I have a lot of extra powered rails after all, so not that big of a deal. Okay, so this time, every time I have a powered rail, I actually have two powered rails. So basically, two powered rails, then three unpowered rails. Probably a little bit overkill, but let's see. Oh yeah, that is gold, and that's perfect. Now, I also did it on the other side, so if we go up here, it should be all the way up here, maybe waiting for us. Well, actually, actually, it's probably going to bounce off that and, yep, go all the way back down. So it'll be waiting for us down there, which makes sense. We always want that minecart down at the bottom because, of course, that's where we're moving items from. So it'll come up here, drop everything off, and then go right back down. So we load it up like that. Boom. There we go. Send it. And then we can go ahead and go all the way up to the surface. This time we beat the minecart up here and it makes all the way up and then it stops and it's going to unload everything and then it'll go right back down to the bottom which is perfect. So, the minecart unloading system with the mines, that's set up and good. A zombie spawner, that's actually found, which is crazy. Which means the final part of today's episode needs to be turning this area into a good looking area. I'm thinking something pretty simple. We'll do probably like spruce on the floor, kind of like I started right there. It'll come out a little bit of a ways. We'll probably use dark oak. Then it'll wrap over through here. I'll cut down some of these trees and I'll have a staircase coming right up to this spot right here. So it'll be pretty simple. I could actually keep it pretty close to the hill too, which makes things even easier. So, I've got a little bit of building to do and a little bit of grieving for all of those lost levels. Uh, that really, really hurts. And the lost zombie too. Wow, uh, two villagers gone and 58 levels. The levels are definitely worth more. Sorry, villagers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, elite, so the mine entrance is finished, and I'm crazy happy with this area. Yet again, I'm seriously in love with this world. Look at this. So, it's simple, but I think it fits the vibe perfectly. In here, I've created, like, a cave-looking ceiling in there. Not too much cobblestone. In fact, no cobblestone on the ceiling. Just lots of depth, like craziness. I feel like it's almost a little bit much, but because I went with one texture, I think it works. Then, I actually moved the minecart unloader forwards a little bit. Just, uh, like, one block, though. I felt that that would fit in here a little bit better and would get rid of this kind of like pointless room back there right here is the way up the quick way up i went ahead and put some uh, stairs and waterlogged them i think that looks good over here i put a window there's a shelf some furnaces right here i'm actually smelting up stone right now then you know just kind of random decorations around here now uh the way up yeah, it's right over here it goes up and then uh, let's actually take a look at it from over here i haven't seen it from this side quite yet but i'm sure it's gonna look fine it's not the most important thing in the world but i wanted it to look like, okay, you see how it kind of like looks like it's built into the cliff there, like the cliff or the mountain is like sticking up. Yep, that's the exact vibe that I wanted, and I mean, personally, I'm like really, really happy with it. I definitely need to terraform though. I need this to look better, like draping vines, that would look really, really cool, and then like cobblestone in the, uh, in the stone, and then like coarse dirt in the dirt, oof, that would look good. But it is time for today's comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is a fun one. There should be an enchantment on a pickaxe that auto smelts every block it breaks once. For example, you break stone, you get smooth stone. Uh, iron, you get no, iron ingots. I've seen this idea before, and honestly, I kind of feel mixed on it. I feel like it would be really cool. I feel like it should be like a chance thing. Like level one, you get like a, maybe like a 10% chance. Level two, maybe like 25, and then level three, like 70. I feel like that would be really cool and prevent it from getting too overpowered. Uh, also, I feel like that enchantment would fit perfectly into the cave update. I really, really seriously hope that the 1.17 update actually adds a couple new enchantments. I mean, in the nether update, we got soul speed, right? That was cool, but I mean, it was only one enchantment for the whole nether. Like, seriously? Come on. I feel like Minecraft definitely needs more enchantments, and I would love to see even like a special, like different enchantment table with like cave enchantments, like with amethyst, and I don't know, but 1.17, 100% needs more enchantments. And enchantments? Enchantments are so cool, especially if you have the levels I can't talk about it. I'm still actually genuinely really upset by that. Now, the farm has been running all episode. Ooh. 
Oh, yes. We will definitely be able to add an enchantment space to this building probably next episode. Now, uh, in between episodes, I have some big catching up to do. I need to get a zombie villager from the zombie spawner and bring it up to the surface. Because next episode, I think we're going to cure it. And then the episode after that, we might do something really, really cool with it. So, uh, when I'm back next episode, hopefully I'll have a zombie villager. But until next time, stay fresh. Leave a like on this video if you haven't yet. And make sure you're subscribed. You just double check today. Today, big shout out to my patrons, Reitman, Deja Leave, and Dario D. Thank you so much for the support. Until next time, stay alive. Like, don't lose the levels. Yeah. Uh, okay. Goodbye.